What is going on, y'all? It is your boy AJB, the IMG, bringing you guys back another quick video. Now, this video that I'm shooting right now is the second rendition of this particular video. I'm shooting it two times. The first one was shot during the day. This one is shot at nighttime. Well, not at nighttime, it's in my garage, so it looks like it's nighttime. But the reason why I shot this video in two pieces slash segments is because in the first video, simply put, I was not showing you exactly where these tabs are, how to remove them. And in any instructional video that you're watching, if you're not seeing what the person is doing or how they're manipulating certain aspects of the vehicle, then it's kind of pointless, right? There's really no point in even watching the video. So in this glove box, there are three components you're gonna to need to remove. There's one tab here on the right. There's another tab here on the left. And then there's also a small little hanger down here. And I will show you guys step-by-step Hopefully if I can cramp myself in here, how to remove those relatively easily slash quickly. So the first step that you're going to need to take to remove slash change your cabin air filter. And in the second rendition of the video, you're gonna see why it's important to actually change your cabin air filter because mine's is absolutely abominable. Uh, but that first step you're gonna need to take is going ahead and opening your glove box right so once you open your glove box as i said you'll see these two tabs here one on the right and one simply put on the left and what you're going to need to do is remove these tabs now these tabs are going to basically hold this initial box up that you can see in place and removing these tabs is eh, it's a little bit of a task i would say what you need to do is get your finger under the bottom portion of this tab and I'll show you guys how to do that in a second but you're gonna want to get your finger under the bottom portion of the tab you're gonna want to also move the glove box as far up as you can while you're doing this and push the tab forward as you do that as well you're gonna want to do that on both sides so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that and once you get your finger mm -hmm. under here move this tab up you're gonna hear a popping sound, which you will hear as I remove the tab. And I'll show you guys in about three, two, one. All right, guys, so this is the first tab. As you can see, you wanna get your, your thumb if you can, your left hand thumb, depending on what is your dominant finger slash hand, right under this tab right here, right? As you can see, I have it. Once you get it up, push the glove box up, lift up, Give it a little bit of a push. You'll hear a pop. That'll be the first tab, right? It's gonna be your first tab right there. Then we will go to this side. All right, guys. So once you get that right tab fully pulled out, you wanna do the same thing for the left side. And simply put, all you're gonna wanna do it again Get your finger, your thumb, whatever your dominant finger is underneath this tab. Get it sifted right under there so you can get some leverage and push that tab upward. And then once you push it upward, as you push this glove box up, pull the tab out and you'll hear it pop. So here, I'm gonna do that right now for you guys so you guys can go ahead and see. I have to push the glove box up, obviously, so you guys won't be able to fully see me popping it out, but you'll be able to hear the pop. And it should come out just like this, just like so. Now we've got both tabs pulled out. The final step that we're gonna need to take to fully push this glove box and lift it all the way down and to remove the cabin air filter is going to be, simply put, removing this very small, gosh. It is a very small little tab that you're seeing here on the left. Now you're going to want to go ahead and simply put, pop this tab out. It's just a compartment lever that holds the glove box up fully. You can pop it out with your thumb right here. Otherwise the glove box will not fully drop to the ground. Perfect. All right, guys, so we're in the final step of removing the cabin air filter and changing it. This final step is just going to be to locate these two tabs here on the right. There's one tab here on the left. 
you're gonna wanna go ahead and pull these two tabs here on the right down while also pulling this tab here on the left down. And once that is done, you will be able to access your cabin air filter as you can see right here and go ahead and change it. Now mine's is already in here, it's clean, but I will go ahead and show you guys in a quick transition what my cabin air filter looked like when I initially was able to access it and go ahead and change it. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that in three, two, one. Same thing with these on the left, lift it down, and holy crap, there's probably, yeah, this is why you gotta change your, your cabin air filter. All right, guys, this is insane. I'm gonna need a, holy moly. This is not edited, guys. This is why you have to change it, your cabin air filter. I've never changed this before on this car. This is the first time I'm doing it. I'm gonna have to actually vacuum the car out, probably because of this. Uh, but yes, again, I've, I've only had this car for a couple years, but this is what happens when you don't change out your cabin air filter, all right? So change out your cabin air filter so you don't live with nature, okay? Now, we're going to throw this away. Again, that is what my cabin air filter looked like. I'm going to need to actually cut this video before I even install this. And this is what my new one looks like. Nice and fresh, nice and clean, baby. Hold on, let me, let me, let me zoom out for you guys. Nice and fresh. Dirty, clean, all right? This is why you guys got to change your cabin air filter. And we are back, guys. So hopefully that quick little clip was very imperative, again, from that first rendition of shooting this video to show you guys why it is important to change your cabin air filter. You do not want to have a rat's nest in your glove box. It's not going to be good. Now, again, in my defense, I've literally only had this car for about a year and a half, maybe two years. Didn't even drive it for probably four or five months due to repairing it. So I would say about a year of ownership. And the previous owner probably had the car for about 10 years, bought it new, never changed the filter. So make sure you're doing your regular maintenance and changing this filter on a regular basis. One other thing, make sure the arrows are pointing downwards for airflow. I may have had them pointing upwards in the previous video, but I did actually point them downwards shortly after, uh, just making sure that I had them orientated correctly. So I wanna make sure you guys have that quick tip and make sure you guys are installing this correctly. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for more content, and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. Deuces.